Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Community takes stand, shuts up school board that rejected $5,000 NRA grant. The mainstream media and politicians have gone out of their way to paint the National Rifle Association as a villain, but the left's politically motivated actions aren't doing much to stop crime. Instead, they're hurting students. Stroudsburg High School in Pennsylvania offers several extracurricular sports, including a school rifle team. Contrary to how liberals would like firearms portrayed, there isn't anything particularly evil or dangerous about this activity. Students compete with small caliber bolt action rifles and learn focus, patience, and attention to detail. Those are valuable skills in sports and in life, which is probably why shooting sports have been part of the Olympics since 1896. Here's the problem. The Stroudsburg rifle team was in dire need of upgrades. Their rifles and other equipment dated back to the 1970s, according to the Morning Call newspaper. The NRA stepped up to provide a nearly $5,000 grant to the team. But incredibly, the school board voted to refuse the grant money. Apparently politics was more important than providing modern equipment for student sports. The Stroudsburg board voted 6-2 to, to not accept the NRA grant. Directors said they supported the rifle team but did not think it was appropriate to take money from the NRA, reported the morning call. One board member called the rifle team Grant Dirty Money. The NRA is a group that has transformed from a bunch of people who liked hunting in the 50s to something that, quite frankly, is a hateful, divisive group that seeks nothing but to push guns on people, declared Alex Reinke, the director of the school board. Did the NRA have anything to do with the tragedy in Florida? No. Are students who learn safe gun handling and participate in a sporting rifle team under proper instruction more or less likely to become criminals? You can answer that one yourself. It apparently didn't occur to the anti-gun school board members that it was heroic jock students who helped save lives in Parkland, yes, students from the same leadership program that the NRA helps fund across the country. After the school refused to accept money that would benefit its own students, the community stepped up and sent a clear message to those who had smeared the National Rifle Association. Two fundraising efforts raised not just the amount offered by the NRA, but at least doubled it. The school rifle team will get its much-needed equipment after all. Before the media could spin the community-funded donations as some sort of anti-NRA gesture, the business owners behind a large portion of the funds made it extremely clear that they actually were National Rifle Association members, and were disappointed that the school had played politics with the original grant. Citizens who own businesses and are involved in the community, trying to make sure that students learn leadership and maturity in today's world. Besides schools, other recipients, of NRA grants, include 4-H groups, which have received $12.2 million since 2010, Boy Scout troops and councils, which received $4 million, and private gun clubs, reported the morning call. Overall, about half the grants go to programs directed at youths. Responsible gun owners and community members supporting respected youth organizations like 4-H, Jock, and the Boy Scouts. That's who the left wants to demonize as responsible for the sad actions of criminals. Luckily, the false narrative isn't sticking, and Heartland Americans aren't falling for the hysteria. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.